you said something about being a diabetic. I heard I heard a little bit about that, but tell me a little bit about that because I mean that definitely sounds like something that would be wild with football, right? Yeah, I mean I was diagnosed later in life. Uh, it was after my freshman football season, so I think I was 18 or 19 when I was diagnosed with diabetes, and I had no idea what it was at all. I mean, huh. I I remembered one kid, Parker Dinsmore, who was giving himself shots and pricking his finger uh, in like uh, my junior year English class. And I was asking him about it, but we didn't talk very long, and it didn't seem like he wanted me to sit there and just ask him a bunch of questions about it. Yeah. Um, so when I was diagnosed, I was like, man, there's that actual kid in my English class. So I reached out to him, you know, and he called me right away. You know, a kid I hadn't talked to in like four years. Oh, wow. And he helped me out so much throughout that process. Like, knowing people who have diabetes helps out a lot because, like, you can ask them questions. And honestly, even if they've had diabetes for eight years, there's still things that they're trying to learn about themselves. Mm. And, you know, having him as a, as a resource in college because, like, man, like, I just got to college. I just finished my freshman football season. Like, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to be great at football. And now I got this disease that, you know, I got to watch what I eat. I have to have certain carbs with the amount of insulin that I'm having. You know, I can eat carbs. I can eat ice cream. I can eat pizza. Mm -hmm. um, but I got to make sure that I'm taking the right amount of insulin and managing it. And my blood sugar can go low and go high. I mean, there's a lot to manage. But yeah. fortunately for me, and like I said, at the time, I didn't really believe that God, you know, I didn't, I didn't really believe that God was having full control of my life mm -hmm. and all that and, and all that stuff. But God put such amazing people in my life at that time, even when I didn't ask for it, even when I wasn't sitting there in the hospital for four days and I wasn't praying. He was like, man, I'm going to give this to him. I'm going to mm -hmm. help him out. Yeah. And like looking back on it now, man, I'll pray about it. I'm like, man, thank you. Because like if you didn't do that, God. Like, I don't know where I'd be right now. If you didn't give me that one trainer that found out my symptom at that exact time, like, I might not be here. I might be in a coma right now back in Durham. You know, if you didn't put that person in my life to help educate me on, on certain lifestyles that I needed to try to do to, you know, manage my diabetes well and play football at the best possible, you know, ability that I could be, I was like, man, thank you. Yeah. You know, and it was just, it was so much gratitude and thankfulness in, in my heart, you know, kind of this past year about situations like that when I was diagnosed, because, you know, now I, I believe that my diabetes is, is pretty decent managed. You know, I don't really have to miss practice or games, uh, you know, for certain issues that I have with it. And I'm just grateful that God put those people in my life to help me manage it. Well, yeah. Yeah. I think it's also, you know, kind of like a surprise to some people that you're dealing with diabetes because you're in such great shape, you know, like, <laughs> Like, I've not, I mean, a lot of people just aren't really educated about it, too. Like, I didn't even know, really, that you could have diabetes if you're, like, a really healthy individual. You know, I thought it really, you know, hurt your uh, health, like, in all aspects. But, I mean, obviously, you're managing it pretty well. But yeah. does, it, does it still get difficult with it sometimes? It definitely can be. I mean, there's some nights where I'll wake up, my blood sugar is 40, mm. and I'm just shaking, and I'm sweating, and, you know, I'm like, man, like, I'm downstairs in the kitchen. I'm looking for things to eat that I got to put in my, my body. And I'm like, man, why do I have to have this, man? Like, this yeah. stinks. You know, I don't want to be up at 2 in the morning because I got a really hard practice tomorrow, you know? But at the end of the day, you know, what gets me going, one is God. Two, God put other diabetics in the world so that, you know, we're, we're all going through the same thing, you know? And if I go through a period of like a week where I have a couple of those, couple of those nights in a week, you know, mm -hmm. reach out to, to someone else and be like, hey, man, like, you know, I've had this issue. What are you doing, uh, you know, for your the meal that you're having before you go to bed? You know, and it's I'm just so grateful that there are other people in, in the world that, that have it. And, and, and it helps me, you know, keep going and not really worry too much about yeah. it. You know, like everything's going to be OK. Like we're yeah. all, all going to get through this, you know. Yeah, I think having people like around you, too, like that are just struggling with the same things, like. I think that kind of applies to a lot of things, but especially with like a, you know, like a disease or illness or anything like that, you know, like having somebody else that you can be like, yo, I'm dealing with this. Like, are you dealing with this? And kind of like bouncing things off of each other and all that. Like, I think in life, you know, that's why community and church is super important because like, you know, you may be dealing with this temptation. It's like, yo, bro, like I've been dealing with this. Like, can you help me out? Because, you know, you may have been dealing with this a little longer. And amen, I think, amen. yeah, I think that's what's so awesome about, you know, like church and kind of like pastors like Troy, you know, that you were talking about. It's like, 
people that have gone through the exact same things. And I think um, sometimes we can feel like I'm the only one that deals with this or I'm the only one like me, you know, um, especially when you got like crazy things going on. But I mean, in reality, we got like 8 billion people on the or in the world, like pretty much everybody has somebody that they can relate with. It's more of a means of finding that and praying that, you know, you find that person. So I'm really glad that you found those people um, because I mean, that that's probably just been such a help for you. And it sounds like it. Oh, such a help. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, like you said, it just, it, it corresponds and correlates with community and church. Yeah. You know, I've, I've had a lot of issues in my life, you know, so, so much that I, you know, so many mistakes that I've made that looking back on it now, I'm just like, man, why did I do that? You know, and having a, a community that understands that, that will be there for you, that you can trust, that you know that, man, like I can go to Gary today. I can go to Noah today and be like, man, I really messed up. I did mm -hmm. this thing, man. Like, you know, I need to talk to you about it. Like, you know, and like being able to kind of bounce ideas and share like what the gospel and what the word says about certain situations and, you know, how we can come back from certain things. I mean, it's very powerful, dude. And I don't yeah. think, you know, I didn't, I, I still sometimes like I'll forget that, you know, when things are going wrong in my life, it's like, man, I really should look at my community. You know, I need to look to my wife. I need to like ask her because, you know, she's a strong woman of faith and, you know, how can we talk about certain, you know, struggles and issues that we're going on and how can we come together to do that? Because, you know, it's, it's hard when you're trying to deal with things individually. You know, yeah. That's why God gave us a, a community of, of believers and followers so that, you know, we can come together, we can confess our sins to them. And then, you know, when we're broken down and we just feel like we've just been smashed so far into the ground, like together we can lift each other up um, and ultimately be stronger for it.